Yo, what's up guys, Toby here back with another video and today I would like to show you the process that I go through every time that I create a review of a product. Now if you are new to this review thing, you might not know exactly what it's about so let me try to explain it for you. A review on YouTube is a video showing a product's features, specifications, performance and also giving information regarding the stability and quality of the product in question. And in the end, the reviewer usually forms and shares an opinion of the product. Alright, so let me show you my specific process that I go through when I review products. Now the first thing is actually getting my hands on the product that I'm interested in reviewing. When it comes to a brand I've never reviewed for in the past, I'll go to their website and find a press or media contact to get in touch with. My channel is still very small, so I'm lucky if even a half big brand responds to me. But if you happen to have 100,000 subs or more, it should not be that hard getting to review what it is you want to review. If I have an ongoing relationship with the company, I just contact them asking for the next product for review. An example of a company that I regularly make reviews for is Dell. Now most of the things I get to review are actually loaner units which means that I get to use the product for a couple of weeks to evaluate it and then send it back to the company. For this video, I am going to be using my 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro as the review product sample. Okay great, so now I have the product. What's next? Well, the actual testing of the product. And when it comes to everyday use products like phones and laptops and stuff like that, I generally just start using the product instead of the one I already have. If the product in question has any special features, like for example the LG G5 with its module design, I test those features immediately and try to form an opinion around them. I then try to use the product I review in a way that someone who bought it for themselves would. So let's test this laptop and try to form an opinion around it and whether it's worth its price tag. So first, I will take notes of all the general stuff like the keyboard, the screen, the build quality and the overall performance and stuff like that. And to do that, I basically just use the laptop like any other person would. And this testing process usually takes about 5 days or so when it comes to laptops and phones. And once I feel comfortable enough with my knowledge about the product, I will move on with benchmarking. And that could be things like gaming and video editing. In the meantime of actually testing the product, I take notes on what I think of certain things and features in the product or in this case the laptop. And once I feel like I know everything that there is to know about that said product, I will start writing the video script. And basically, I take all the notes plus stuff from my head and pile it together in a somewhat organized script like this one. And when the script is done, I will start with recording the voiceover for the script. I use a free program called Audacity, it's great. So once I have the voice recording done, I will send it to my phone which I will use to listen to it while I record the b-roll of the product. I listen to every sentence and think like, okay now the shot should look like this and it should be this part of the product that gets shown in this specific time of the voiceover and video. And once I feel like I have all the video footage I need, I'll bring it into Final Cut Pro 10 and put it all together with some nice background music. And the thing that I love the most about Final Cut Pro is the smoothness of the video editing. It renders everything in the background so playback is almost always super smooth. And the software has everything I need. And when it comes to rendering the video, I render in the H.264 codec because it takes the least space and uh, when the render is done, I just upload it to YouTube with a relevant title. I also add my Amazon affiliate links for that product in the video description. I then add some tags and upload my thumbnail. And now the review is done and uploaded to YouTube. And now it's time to repack the product and send it back to the company. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I gave you some insightful information. If I did, please click that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.